Hey, what's up everybody? It is Vadi Hudson, owner of securityplusPro.com, and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to personalize your copy of Kali Linux. So in the last video, I showed you how to download it. In the video before that, and several videos before that, uh, excuse me, uh, I had to hiccup. I showed you how to uh, go ahead and install VMware Workstation and download Kali Linux. So if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you go back and look at it. And if you have any questions about virtualization or exactly what we're doing, check out my blog, securityplusprocom forward slash blog. I've got everything there. And it's everything you need to pass the Security Plus exam on the first attempt. And really just to enjoy it, because this, this is a really awesome uh, field that you're trying to get into. Cybersecurity is awesome. If you're already in cybersecurity, then you already know that. But the Security Plus uh, certification can really take you to another level. I've had mine for several years, and it's opened up lots of opportunities. So. Here, we're gonna go ahead and dive in. This is kind of a really a, a technical video, so really pay close attention. I don't want you to miss any steps. And this is the result of many hours, lots and lots of hours of frustration um, that I've encountered. So I wanna save you all that problem, all those frustrations, just by um, showing you how to personalize Kali. So let's go ahead and log into Kali Linux. By the way, to do that, I just dragged up on the screen, and I'm gonna log in as root, and I'm gonna use the password that we configured in our last, uh, last time we got together. So it's gonna go ahead and log us into the Kali Linux screen or the, the environment. And the first thing I'm gonna do is change the resolution because I absolutely hate this tiny baby resolution. Like I can't work in this small space, okay? So to do this, we're gonna go ahead and open the terminal in the left corner. And we are going to run a couple commands. So first, we're gonna actually run this thing called a GTF. And this is what we need in order to change the resolution. I'm gonna show you how to make it permanent well, there's a lot of stuff out there online that shows you how to change the resolution, but not how to make it survive a reboot. I'm going to show you how to make it permanent so your resolution stays awesome, okay? So you're not going to get this anywhere else. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to use xrander. Actually, before we do that, let me show you. We're going to type GTF, and I want to use the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 60 hertz. So this is exactly what I need. This right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that to the clipboard. And then I'm going to type xrander, and we're going to say new mode, and we're going to use the mode, this mode, sorry, everything after mode line we need to copy. So the quote to this vsync, that's what we need. So we're going to right-click that, go to copy, and I'm going to type this as my new mode, just like that, and I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to type xrander add mode, I'm going to name it virtual one, and I'm just going to type in this right here. So I'm going to copy this part right here. Copy. So let's back that out. And we'll just literally just paste that in. Okay, we're good. I think we need to put this in quotes. So I'm going to put it in quotes. Press enter. And then x render output virtual one mode. And then again, we're going to paste that in. Close it out. It's going to make your resolution big, as it just did. So our resolution now is pretty good. What we need to do now is we need to create a file, and we want to make this permanent. Okay, so I'm going to go to, let's go to cd etsy inet.d. And let's look around in here. Okay, I'm going to create a file in here. Pseudo v, I'm going to name it resolution. And I'm going to press i to go into insert mode, and I'm just going to type shebang, that's the hashtag and the bang character, forward slash bin, forward slash bash. This is telling Linux the command interpreter that we're going to use. We're going to use bash, the born again shell. That's the default shell for Linux. That's the one we're going to use for this script. And then I'm just going to, actually, I should have copied everything I typed before. <laughs> I should have copied everything I typed, I typed before. Um, so let me do that. So let's go ahead and so escape, then I'm going to type Q. Actually, let's hit escape, and we're going to type colon Q, colon Q bang to get out. Okay? And what we really need is this. So let me just go ahead and copy this right here. Right click, copy. I'm going to open up LeafPad. And in LeafPad, I'm just going to paste this in here. Let's go ahead and get this Kali Linux part out. Get this part out and get this part out. So we just want 
this text right here. Okay, so Control A, copy, X to close. We don't want to save changes. Now let's go back, press the up key to go back to the resolution file that we're creating. Press I to insert it, right click, and we're going to say edit paste. Okay, now that first part of that character left off, so we're going to type the X to put it back to X render. Press enter to make it go down, and then we put in our our uh, shebang forward slash bin forward slash bash. Okay, so we've got hashtag bang forward slash bin forward slash bash, and we've got all the things that we typed in using the GTF tool. Press escape, shift ZZ to save the file, and we can verify that it actually has something in it by typing head and then the name of the file. You can see there it is, we have text in there. That's awesome. Now, if we do ls resolution, ls-l resolution, name of the file we created, you'll notice, by the way, if you don't know Linux, that's fine. You're going to get, we're going to teach you all this stuff, okay? So um, you'll notice that it does not have execute permission. So I cannot run this file. I need to be executable because I need Linux to run this automatically every time it boots up. So I'm going to use the change mode command, schmod, add the, res the execution bit to the file I just created. And now, if you look at it, you can see, first of all, it's green, which means it's executable. And you can see here that it is executable because the X bit is set for the, the owner, for the user, and for the owner. So root can execute this. That's exactly what we need. Now, we need to do one other thing. I told you this is complicated. Just follow along. You should be good. We need to go to our home directory. So print working directory. I just did CD forward, CD space tilde. Uh, or you could just type CD, and that'll always take you to your home directory. I type pwd, and you can see I'm in root. What I need to do here, ls-lah, these are, these are showing me all the files and folders in my home directory, and there's one here called config.config. .config. We need to get into that .config folder. So I'm going to go to cd.config ls, and in here I'm going to now, I'm going to create a file. So I'm going to say sudo v. Uh, before we do that, though, let's make a directory. So make directory auto start, and then I'm going to cd into that directory. So make mkdr space auto start makes a directory, and then the ampersand says, "Hey, after you make the directory, I want you to change it into that directory." cd auto start. Okay. So now we're there. You see, there's nothing in here, and now I'm going to say sudo v resolution dot desktop. That's the file I'm making. Press I to get into configuration mode, and let's go ahead and type this thing. So we need to type it exactly like this. There's really no way around this, okay? So just follow my lead, generic name, and I will include this file as a download uh, so you don't have to um, worry about doing all this craziness. Setting the screen resolution to 1080p HD to make it persist. We'll say comment by Vani Hudson. Gotta, you know, give myself a shout out. <laughs> exec etsy inet.d. Now remember, this is the path to the file that we created. We don't want it to have a terminal and type is application, application, make sure I type that correctly. And it is an X genome auto start. Okay. So we press escape, save that, make sure it's there. It is. Great, you can do head resolution just to make sure there's text in there. It is. So now we just reboot. And when the computer reboots, when the VM reboots, it should automatically boot into 1080p. Now if it doesn't, for some reason it doesn't, make sure you go back over your settings, make sure that your xrender parameters are correct, make sure there's no typos in that resolution.desktop file you created, and then you should be good to go. All right, so. If you have any questions about that, make sure you scroll down, leave a comment, let me know, and you know, we can work through it together because I had a lot of problems uh, when I did this the first time. But I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video and we're just going to skip right to the next part, and that is you know, updating Kali Linux. So we we want to make sure that we have the latest updates available so that you know, we can hack with the latest tools, right? So let's do that next. All right, awesome. So now we are in Kali Linux. It's at HD resolution just the way I like it. Now let's go ahead and update it. This process takes a really long time. 
Actually, so before we go through the update process, maybe let me show you some, one other thing, a few other things that we can do, and then maybe in the next video I'll show you the update process. So the first thing I like to do is I go up here to the time, and I change it. So the way you can do that is you go up to the upper right corner, you click the little the arrow thing, and then you go to settings. Then you can type date, click that, and we want to make sure that the clock is in AM PM format. Awesome. Fix that problem. Now I like to tweak this the interface to make it look a little better. So I go to the tweak tool and I change it from Cali X to Adweta Dark. I believe that's the one I've been digging lately. And I like to use the global dark theme, so everything is dark. Click close on that. See now you notice. It looks pretty elite, right? I mean, I like this. It looks pretty good. Then we can go to the terminal. Last thing here. And I go to File, Preferences. I say Open New Terminals in Tabs. And I think that's the only thing I change in there. Close. So now, if I open a terminal, and I open a new terminal, See, it's in a tab, and I can always switch between those, those tabs um, just by pressing Control, Page Up, and Page Down, or I can just click them to get through there. If I want to open a new tab, I can just click this button right here to open a new tab. Pretty cool, right? So that's the other thing I do, and I guess we still have some time in this video, so let me show you how to update. So first I do if config to make sure I have an IP address, and I do. So I should be able to ping google.com, and I can. Control C to stop that, clear to clear the screen. And then I do apt-get update, and then, well, actually, let's just do apt-get update. So what this does is it pulls down the most current list or repository of updates that are available. It did that, that's really fast. Then you do apt-get upgrade, and I do dash Y. Actually, I like to put sudo on front. And this will actually go through the upgrade, where it upgrades all of the software on your Catalytics distribution. This is what takes a long time. Uh, so we're going to let this go through its process. There are, there are a couple of things that you, um, you need to do, so you can't just actually step away, unfortunately. It's going to prompt you to um, confirm certain things. And this process can take an hour or two, so unfortunately, you, know, you just have to go through it. Um, but we let this process go through. And I added that space dash Y at the end because I'm trying to say, hey, just do yes by default. That's what the dash Y means. It means just go ahead and install everything and yes, don't bother me, but sometimes it still bothers you. Okay, so anyway, uh, we'll let this finish. And in the next video, uh, we are basically done with Kali Linux now. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 10 Enterprise Edition in your virtual machine. That way we have a, a target that we can attack and it's going to provide a great playground for us learning about different commands, learning about the terminal. It's going to be really awesome. If you like this video, you know, make sure you thumb it up if you're watching it on the YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you subscribe again if you're on YouTube. And if you're watching it on my blog, securityplushpro.com, and I'd really appreciate it if you went ahead and scrolled down, left a comment, you know, let me know you're here. And more importantly, go ahead and sign up for our free newsletter. That way I can give you all the latest updates, all the latest uh, tips and tricks to uh, make sure that you are armed and ready to pass this exam. So, by the way, as I was talking to you, it took me to a screen where it's asking me to do something. So, it's going to say, what, you know, what character set do you want to use? I'm just going to hit OK because I want to use Latin. So, there's things like that that do pop up. Should non-super users be able to capture packets? Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit no to that because I don't want people that aren't root who are using the system to be able to capture packets. Now, I'm going to be the only one using the system, but... I try to lock it down as much as possible because one of the most embarrassing things that can happen is when you're hacking someone, you get hacked yourself. So we're going to talk about all that stuff a little later on in your studies. It's going to be a lot of fun. And thank you for sticking with me as I've blabbered on. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumb this video up. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to put your email address in the bottom so we can keep in touch and I can send you everything you need to pass the exam. Okay? So I will see you in the next video. God bless.